No, your eyes do not deceive you. If it looks like a Canadian-themed Mountie Sergeant Slaughter, that's because it is. This extremely small custom run was made available to a handful of people on some of our Canadian social media groups during the summer of 2020. The purpose of this video is to do a brief overview of this figure and why it has become an important part of my collection. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, this is Ken with Toy Connections. If you would like to see more figure reviews, figure comparisons, toy histories, collection footage, and toy insights in general, please be sure to hit subscribe, click that notification bell, and press like. Early on in 2020, I embarked on a small mission to rescue a bunch of paint-scuffed, worn-out Sergeant Slaughter O-ring figures with the end goal of producing 40 like the one you see on your screen here. Rounding up a team of people who are far more talented than myself is what made this project possible. I started by asking my friend Peter from Sparkplug Customs if he would be interested in utilizing his skills for a repainting job. Peter is the genius behind Sparkplug Customs, which I'll flash here on the screen so you can follow him on Instagram. He has definitely gained a good reputation for himself for his customization work. Okay, so I'm going to break the bad news to you guys right now. This was a one-off project, so we are not producing any more. Having said that, I figured it was important to make this video because not only did I want to share the project with you guys, but if you as a customizer decide to repaint your own in a similar style and mounty theme of your own choice, this video can definitely help with ideas. Now, with regards to the accessories, my friend Mark was in charge of 3D printing the Mounty Sergeant Slaughter Winchester rifle and baton that you see here. Mark also had the task of remolding a few thumbs which were broken and later painted over them. My friend Ian also spent many hours doing the fine card artwork shown here, which I had later printed on some cardstock when we were ready to release the figure to our friends. After that, I called up my buddy Jay from Colorado and asked if he could ship up some card bubbles for us, which he very graciously did. And as you'll see here, the card bubbles are easily snapped open and back closed. You'll see here that the baton for the Mounty Slaughter is a darker color than the original, and it also has a narrower tip at the end, so it cannot be mistaken for the original. The figure itself utilizes two to three coats of Citadel paint, which Peter required quite a steady hand and a lot of patience in order to get the details done on this figure nicely. Particularly, you'll notice the yellow stripe on the side of the pants, the whistle on the chest, and the dark brown stripe that wraps around the hat. As many of the original figures had a lot of paint fade, some touch-ups were made to the sunglasses as well. With all that in mind, I managed to get the figures released during the middle of 2020 on two of our Canadian Facebook pages, namely the Canadian Toy Gallery and our G.I. Joe Canadian Slaughterhouse. Now, if you are a toy collector living in Canada or you are from Canada, definitely check out these two Facebook sites. Again, unfortunately, these particular figures are sold out, but we'd love to branch out and talk to more of our Canadian collector comrades regardless. The end result was that 40 of us among our Canadian toy pages managed to have these in an exclusive custom run, something that I consider quite fun and successful for us, and also something that we could call our own. You'll see here that the figure card backs are individually numbered, and mine is numbered 33 to match the number worn by the former captain of my favorite sports team. And here's what he looks like with his fellow Sergeant Slaughter vintage O-ring counterparts. Namely, the versions 1 through 4 that were released in the 1980s. As you can see, he not only blends in quite well, but the shade of red on his tank top stands out very nicely. And this is why I love custom figures, especially for a theme that is unique such as this. And because of the time that I spent collecting the individual Sergeant Slaughter figures, the time spent assembling a small team of very talented guys to put this together, plus distributing them among our tight online community, this figure will always be more important to me than the average figure in my collection. This is when I can look back into the past fondly and proudly, and if I'm ever having a bad day, just remembering the process that went into this puts a smile on my face. I am forever grateful for the skillful individuals who brought this to life. So Peter, Mark, Ian, you guys have my eternal gratitude. And I'm also grateful for the people who supported us. Your guys' hard work, dedication, and loyalty is what made this process memorable. Anyway guys, that was my overview of the Mounty Sergeant Slaughter custom figure run of summer 2020. Hopefully you guys liked the figure and enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to me if you already haven't, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys again soon.